Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure. Welcome back to the VooVoo Voo Boys, where we're doing stuff and things. Uh, I'm going to pause it up just as soon as Track has finished doing what it's doing over here. Uh, we've got we've got a little bit of promotion going on for the second expansion. And I'll tell you something, that's annoyed me, just ever so slightly, uh, the fact that the release of a second expansion has murdered the first one. That should not be the case. Uh, the, the, the sales of an expansion pack should always be dictated by the uh, the install base of the core. Hold on, what's going on here? You've got 34 in stock. That's that's deceased. Tripping Kitty is just bad. It's a bad scene. Uh, track looks okay. Yeah, you've got five weeks worth of that still in stock. Uh, Tripping Kitty is a disaster. Cowboys and Colonization is doing 16k a week. That's okay for now. Yep. Uh, Magenta is doing okay. Yep, yep, that's fine. But the the death of Track Further as a result of Track Faster, I'm unpleased. I can, in fact, recall a game, and it eludes me right now i i know it happened <laughs> let's put it that way uh that uh, that had multiple expansion packs come out at the same time but hey ho such is life and there is everything all there is to do with that uh right i'm going to bang some market research out uh because we have uh the team in the game hole are sat around doing nothing and i'd like them to to, to target a winner um and so I'm going to uh, I'm going to do a market report and see what we get because the current trend is only on for another 36 weeks, you know. So you want to be you want to be careful about these things. Uh, anything interesting in here? No. Okay. Good. Right. Here we are. 92% of players want the retail. 7.3 want the digital. We're not doing digital distribution just yet. We will do, but not quite yet. Uh, collects editions, same as ever. Next trend is probably action and tanks. I, I can get behind that. However, we know from history that that is not always necessarily true. 62% uh, play arcade cabinets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 56% have access to the internet. Uh, that seems quite reasonable. What are you going to do with that? Well, an action game about tanks. Okay, uh, let's go. Hello there, team. It's a new game, it's a new day, it's a new something and all of that. Brand new title. Oh, smell that brand new title. You could go for a free-to-play game. Yeah, I could, but I'm not going to. Um, right, so I want... T is for action-type games. All right. It's an action-type game with a smidge of subgenre. Ooh, an action! I'm, I'm I'm swerving towards economic simulator, you know. I certainly am, because that feels good. We could do a tank racing game. There's a thing, or a real time strategy. Nah, that's a thing too. Action, real time strat. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can make battle zone. <laughs> That'd be fun. Um, yeah, I don't know. You can make it a third-person shooter with tanks. Just, uh, I don't think so. Uh, all right, go on, Em. This is, uh, you could just go one, you could go one genre. You could go all in on not mashing them all up. Uh, yes, there is that. Why are you debating this so hard? I shouldn't, shouldn't need to debate this quite as vociferously as I am doing. Yeah. Uh... I just want to... I want to make something great. Well, okay, we'll make something great then. Stop mucking about. Tank sim... We're a simulation company. Tank simulator. Action simulator. Yes. All right. T is for... T -a -n -k. One of those. We've never made one before. Right. Tanks with a sub... A sub order of probably something we've done before. Why are you telling me Assassins is in green? Because it matches. Oh, I wish you wouldn't. Um, yeah, I don't. Just I don't, being oblivious to this stuff is how you actually work. <laughs> you learn through the experience of such things. Now, what you should be able to do is uh, is when the title comes out, and you go, "Ah, oh, that's done that." It should be through your observations. 
not automated observations based on having pressed a button correctly. Anyway, I digress in that way that I frequently do. We're doing tanks, yeah. I mean, you could go mecha. We do like mecha. True. Yeah, I mean, that way you can get into a whole battle tech kind of a situation. Yeah. Tank party? No, 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 no. Tanks don't match with raw materials. I think action games struggle to match with raw materials. Well, robots. We've got some experience at making robots. Oh, yeah, okay, maybe. Yeah, with a, with simulated something or other. But steampunk tanks. I think we've we've dallied enough with steampunk. I don't think we have. Okay, <laughs> all right. It's steampunk tanks, and it's an action simulator. Uh, Africa Bambata is our man. Uh, it's going to probably be a double A. I'm going to aim for double A, hopefully. Um, but you never know. No. The things you know, you never. Right then. Do you want to license it? No, 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 no. Not this time. Uh, now, are you going to fun pistol, or are we going to uh, bang it on the death mortar? Uh, um, yeah. Uh, what about the moon child? It's a simulator specialist. All right, okay, bang it on the moon child. Um, right, and it's going out on the uh, the 1X. Yeah, you'll notice there's now more 1Xs out there than there are X1s. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's also going out on the mini box. Yeah. And then we could go We could go with a bit of Seagy Uranus. Uh, we're only Tech 4 anyway, so that doesn't phase me. And then what about the game station? Uh, well, it's easier to develop on the PC. Yeah, but PC games have been failing us of late. Whereas the game station, I think there's there's gold in them there, Hills. Okay, well, that gives us Tech 4. Yeah. The Uranus is quite tricky to develop for, but I am good at it. So that's not too big an issue. Uh, <clears throat> I need to pay more attention to the how difficult it is to develop for the machine because that directly impacts your ability to make it quickly. Uh, we've actually got some stuff we've never used here. Well, whoop de doo uh, Yeah, also the Moonchilds is not necessarily operating with all the latest tech. Enable all the languages, please. Yep, yep, good. A uh, bit of anti-cheat. I've got all the anti-cheat I need on there, I think. Uh, and then uh, let's roll it. Now, what's it going to be? Uh, I think we make it a little bit harder. It is an action game, so don't make it too hard. Yeah, okay. We make it... Keep it a 12. 12's good. Casuals? No, slightly more core. That is the is a, is a beautiful piece of sliding action. And, uh, and therefore, I commend it to the house. Uh, right, we'll go with a bit of that. We'll drop this by one, that by two, this by two. No, that by one, this by two. There you are. Right. Always slap everything into gameplay because for some reason we get burgled on gameplay all the time. Um, right, now then. Beginner friendliness, not that fussed. Now, beginner friendliness is always positive, right? Always. It's always positive to stick it in beginner friendliness um, because that's good for beginners. But in this case, stuff them. Uh, right? The game depth, deeper, shallower. See? Deeper, shallower. Uh, we want relative... Uh, you know what? Five there is pretty good. We'll drop the length. No, we'll keep the length where it is. The story, action simulator. All right. Drop one of those. This has bought me two points. Character design. Let's put one in that. Yeah, innovation. Let's put one in that. There you go. Very conservative slider management going on there. Uh, right, and then what do you want? Tell me. And our survey says 54. So, well, let's make it a AAA game. I've got three quarters of a billion in the bank. There's no, there's no sense in, in, you know, holding back here. All right. That's well, going to be expensive. You better hope it sells. I better hope it sells. Uh, we're still four over budget. All right. I'll get rid of them. What are we looking for here? Yeah, anything that feels like it doesn't belong. Flight stick in a tank simulator. I think there's, there's an argument to be made there. Interactive story. Um, yeah, no. Get out. All right. Just that, that was simple. Character progression. Definitely want that. 
Uh, the story is the story is the story is the story is, but you're driving around in an action tank. Mouse support, obviously. Multiple endings. Um, uh, I mean, just get out. All right. Password saves. Definitely don't need that. I should, <clears throat> I should flag that as never going to need it again. But all right. I mean, photo mode. Oh, yeah. I mean, think about it. Think about having a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Photo mode for a for a tank game. Totally. Wheel support, definitely needed. Um, magic science helmet, yes. Voice acting, touch screen support. No. <laughs> it's not on a phone, for crying out loud. Don't need touch screen support. Right, what about uh, cosmetics? Nope. Not in this game. Okay, just needs a name. So we're going to go with... Uh, at Quies uh, to the uh, traction cannon. There we are. Beautiful. Super job. Smashing, because that's what they're driving. They're not called tanks, they're called traction cannons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I've read the difference, engine. I know what's what. Uh, give it give it large. All right, get to work, kids. Now, that one, are we going to make it out this year? No, we're not. I mean... We could, but it won't be very good. <laughs> so, you know, give that some consideration. Why don't you? Uh, the battery are currently supporting Weasel Imperium, which is having its bugs smashed. Right. Uh, we're bug smashing on Shadow Tavern Online, and I think we're going to target 2004 for that to come out. Uh, still a year away, obviously, but, I mean, you know, did, these things are important. You've, you've got to think ahead. Check your, check your stock numbers. Uh, 1,500 a week? Yeah, that's fine. 15,000 a week? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, 147 a week? I'm so disappointed in you, Tripping Kitty. Uh, Anathema's looking good. In fact, it's got many, many weeks of stock available. Uh, you've got many, many weeks of stock available. It's not doing too bad. It's doing 9,500 a week. Oh, I'm still disappointed in it. Okay, well, leave it there. Oh, what have we got? Um, there's a lot of news going on here. The One X, we've sold one to Techsoft. Yeah. Okay. Make games. Uh, we've got new research available. The Tuned 3 fan system and a 512 meg cartridge. Uh, the Nintendo 63 is donezo. All right. Okay. Track Faster did 15k this week. Yeah. It's fine. But it's not going to make its money back. I mean, the, the goal here was that we push sales of track, except track has now dropped into the toilet and is going around the U-bend. However, it has been on sale for 71 weeks. I think we're going to bid a fond farewell to track in the next week or two. And that's okay. That's okay. Right, now then, are you going to do any marketing? Let's get some pre-hype going on Weasel Imperium. Uh, yeah, right, right, right about here. Okay, marketing campaign. No special marketing. Weasel Imperium, which is flipping heck. I've got loads of stuff on the go at the moment. Yeah, I know. It's only because you've got quite a lot on sale. See, trackers ha hung around longer than anticipated. Good. Yeah. See. Ah, let's do uh, let's do a press demo for that, and see if they can't jazz us up a little bit of dosh. But you, I mean, you never know. Uh, someone suggested, actually, in the last last episode, I should check in on customer support uh, and make sure that they're okay. Yeah, you're, you're hanging at 14.3%. But I think it goes 14.3% and then done. See? And, and therefore, that's the processing speed. But I ought to check that there's no backlog going on. Uh, Weasel Imperium. No, no, no. The press weren't into it. Stuff them. Tracks finished as anticipated. 17.9 million profit. Why, thank you. Yep, pretty good. Uh, Sunwork have bought a 1x dev kit. Okay, good for them. Yeah, customer support. Uh, to find, oh, sit back down. Um, to find out what's actually going on, I'm going to have to cancel the task. Yeah, and then reassign it. Customer support. Unanswered questions. 21,000. 580. Ha! 21,500. 20, 21,000. So, how many are you saying? 21,000. 
580. 21 thousands. Right then. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, 21 thousand. Yes. That's a lot more than I was anticipating. Right. Okay. We're going to need to make a new room for this because the little hatred room that we've got right now is not up to par. I would have thought I would have got some kind of notification about that to say, there are 21,000 people waiting for you to... Never mind. Right. Something that will get me three, four desks in, please. Thank you. Right. Okay. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. Do this. Yeah. New customer service team coming online. You haven't got the staff. I, I will make the staff. Uh, out of, you know, really, really unhappy people. Because that's what customer service is all about. You find the most unhappy people you can find and go, you've got a job now, they go, great. All right, okay, now then, work desk three. I think we might even go for five. Okay, all right. Yeah, one, yeah, two, yeah, three. Good, positive start there. I mean, they'll be happy that they've got their own little room. Uh, it, it's actually quite a good room, this one. I might even put the awards in here. Yeah. Do you think five's going to be enough? I think five chips away at the size of the mountain. Okay, sure you don't want to go for six? No, I'm going to make this place happy for them. Um, the other thing that you quite often find in your customer service room is all the merchandise. Oh, yeah. What do you do if you get an unhappy punter? Well, if it sounds like, if they turn up unhappy initially, you make them happy and they sound so grateful, uh, and then you finish your, your conversation with something along the lines of, I'm a, such a big fan of the game, I'm so pleased you could help me out today. I don't suppose you've got a t-shirt or a baseball cap or a, a branded television. Uh, and uh, and you never know if it's a forward-thinking uh, customer service department. They may just have that, in which point you can get some free swag. You didn't hear that from me. But putting some free swag in as a make good for customers you wish to keep loyal is a smart piece of thinking. All right, temperature looks good. All right, turn it back off again. I have done. Well done, you. Have you done enough to make them happy yet? Not even slightly. Now, these guys need the clock, not to make them efficient, but to see how much more of their life they have to tip away before they can go home. Um, let's uh, let's bang some lamp six in here. There you go, have some lamp six pointing directly at the clock. That's how they know that it will be, you know, properly properly uh, organized for them we understand their pain that's what i'm saying now interestingly customer service is uh, is one of the entry level ways into the games industry same as qa is one of the entry level ways into the games industry the difference is that uh, customer service tend to be quite tidy <laughs> whereas uh, the opposite is true of uh, of those who work in qa i generalize but i'm right uh, right, okay, here's the Developer of the Year Award, of which we've really not won as many of them as we deserve. There you go, we'll plant, we'll plant it. I, need, I haven't quite got enough floor space for it. I do worry about my, uh, my staff being able to shimmy past things. You can get rid of one of those cabin arts. No, I'll slap it there, at the back next to the radiator. All right, UFO posters? Yeah. They do, I mean, customer service do respond to the same level of nerd rubbish as, as everybody else, though. They're gamers desperate to get into the games industry, and the best they could find for themselves was customer service. And they go, how do I get out? There is no out. You might possibly get onto a production path if you're very, very lucky. If you're sprightly and outgoing and not some kind of shut-in, uh, you may be able to get yourself into publishing and do a bit of marketing for a living. But uh, but fundamentally, there are very few ways to exit uh, customer service. Just letting you know. But obviously, if you've got no choice in the matter and you want to work in the games industry, it's predictable. That's the other thing about it. Right, rename the room. Oh, yeah. What's this one going to be? Uh, uh, 20... What do you mean I can't name it with two? Of course I can. 20 thousand happy punters 
There we go. Good. Right, I'm going to need to hire some people to go and work in there. You're not doing anything. Get back to work. We can't let the queue get any... 21,500. Yep. Okay, now I could make money off this. Yeah, have I told the walls to disappear? I think you have. Oh, well, don't. Uh, what's this button do? It might be that one. No. Oh, where is it? You've pressed something and it's made the walls disappear. And that's made me unhappy. I don't want the walls disappeared. I want them visible. Well, use a process of elimination and go and find it. Found it. It was next to the uh, next to the temperature gauge. I obviously inadvertently clicked it earlier. Right, we're going to go and f hire some people to work in here. Uh, uh, support, support. No, hold on. It is marketing and support. Right. We have two, three, possibly four available. Yeah. You're all hired. Welcome to the war, Gaunt Spectre. Run free, Herman Direwolf. Keep those customers happy, Bleed Fortune. The phone's ringing, Ralph Fusion. Good, right, that's my new team, all set up. Go and answer the ruddy. 21,540, go. Should we charge for calls? It's a bad idea. Yeah, okay, do it. Yeah, no, we want more fans. There we go, happy punters. Now, the question's going to be... Oh, hold on. Oh, no, this is going down. It's now 14.3. Yeah, leave it till the end of the week, right? And make sure we've got a positive change. Okay, all right, stop that. Yeah, cancel the task. Yes, now look at the task. Customer support. 21,315. Perfect. Chipping away at that will be done in, I reckon, about five years. So that's not a problem. Making a difference. Uh, also, I should possibly get them into training. What are we going to do about the hardware? It was suggested I could upgrade my existing hardware rather than do a do a re-release. Rather than... Hold on, we've got someone who's maxed out. You, come here. Go and do some work. Get in the battery. Uh, yeah. There we go. Uh, rather, rather than just sit around idly waiting for a piece of tech that might never appear... The thing is, the competition has been able to... No, they haven't. They've got Tech 4. Uh, tech 5, even. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, mate. You're raising a valid point. Am I? It's anybody's guess. The heroes are sat around doing nothing. Right, marketing from you, please. No, not marketing. The other thing. Special marketing, because you are special. Get Weasel Imperium some flipping hype. I had I had extraordinarily high hopes for this franchise, and they, they look very much like they might be coming to naught. But it's okay. You know what you ought to do? Obviously not now, but you ought to do a track with both the expansion packs, Game of the Year edition. Ah, oh, people would get well into that. That's why I'm suggesting it. Uh, anyway, let's do a large booth. Yep. Uh, and then what are we going to start? Hawking here. I think Shadow Tavern Online. Let's get the hype going. Uh, Weasel Imperium, because that's coming out soon. As this, this pretty much rides itself, doesn't it? Um, and then uh, the Traction Cannon. Acquiesce to the Traction Cannon. Yeah. That's what we all say to one another. We, we do, don't we? Uh, right, the 1X yep. and the X1. It's nice just having two consoles. Yeah, I know. Another 16,000 fans in the bucket. Yeah. Monetize them more. There we go. Inside the Weasel Imperium, gain six hearts. Well, that fills me full of hearts. I'm glad to hear it. Um, right, a bit more marketing in, in play. And then uh, then back to work, I guess. Uh, special marketing? Yeah, let's do special marketing on Shadow Tavern. Ooh, yeah. Let's, let's chance our hand with the press right now oh my goodness yeah i mean that, this could backfire if it gets a minus three then that is a very very bad sign yep okay give me plus three give me plus three give me plus three come on give me the result i want the result right now right now result me result me one time what is it come on i need to, I, plus three yes 
Oh, hello. Uh, hold on. CNC's just broken the million sales mark. I haven't been keeping an eye on it. It's still doing 11,000 a week. Well, gracious. Yeah, Shadow Tavern has hit the hype. We've got gold record. Hey, have I not done a million seller before? I'm sure I have. Based on this profit margin, you definitely have. Yeah, I definitely have. Yeah, minor tourism would have been the first to cross that line. Are we sure about that? Own games. Yeah, 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 yeah. Volume. Uh, yeah, probably. Minor tourism. 1.5 million. Tracks done 1.3. This is my third gold record. Oh, cool. Yeah, how long has it been out? 41 weeks. It's got another 20 plus weeks on sale. Okay, cool. I don't think it's going to hit the number one spot. I don't think it's going to hit the number one spot. But you know what? It's not going to be bad. You know what it means? You're going to want another sequel. I think we're going to want another sequel. Also out is... No, wait. Uh, Unisoft have bought an X1 dev kit. See, the, the X1 has clearly hit its zenith now. Put some more CNC into production. I uh, shall put some more CNC into production, and then I shall bid you a fond farewell, whereupon we shall meet each other once again in the next uh, bold adventure of this that we are doing here. Right, what are we making? Uh, Gimme. Oh, you reckon there's 5,000 spec heads still to sell? Yeah, I reckon, and we'll do 1,000 super spec heads. How many more of these do you want? Let's do 10k a week. Oh, let's, let's get a ton. Yep. There you go. Right, print them. I've been Colonel Failure. I'll catch you next time. Thanks very much for watching. Cheerio.